Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about a driving trick for reversing without sensors. In this video, I'll be going over a simple thing that you can do and also giving you some bonus information as well that will help you reverse into a parking spot or anywhere if your car doesn't have sensors. Now in this vehicle, I have a rear view camera so I can see what's going on, but in my other vehicle, uh, the Mazda 3 that my wife and myself have, we don't have any sensors or any cameras, so I oftentimes will use this trick. Now the trick is to use the reflection reflection of the car beside you to see what's going on now I really wanted to film this video today but it's raining so I mean it's hard for me to show you what it looks like but I'm gonna explain everything that I would regularly be doing if I was reversing into a parking spot what I would do is I would roll down the window and I would look on the lower portion of the car beside me and if I looked on their paint job I would most likely be able to see the reflection of where my car is going and I can see where the rear bumper is so if I'm reversing and I'm, I'm trying to reverse close to a wall but not hit a wall or a fence or a curb or anything like that all that I have to do is look at the reflection of that car and I can see now here's a bonus tip and I'll also tell you a few more bonus pieces of information the bonus tip is turn on your tail lights because here's the thing when you're reversing in if it's hard to see on that reflection if you turn on your tail lights you're gonna likely be able to see the reflection of your tail lights as long as your tail lights loop around the car which a lot of cars that is the case and what's gonna happen is you're gonna be able to see what's happening with your rear bumper in the reflection of the car beside you so I would be reversing I would roll down my window and I would look at that reflection if I look at that car right now I can vaguely I can vaguely see what my car looks like and that's because it's raining if it was a nice sunny day I would be it would be easier for me to see um, what's happening with my car now here is a little bit of extra info the cleaner and the newer that the paint job is on that car the better that it will be for reflecting. If you're reverse parking beside an old car that has a lot of rust and the paint is faded, you're probably not going to be able to see too well. So when you're choosing your parking spot, if you want to reverse without sensors and get close to the fence without hitting it, look to reverse beside a car that's either relatively new or has a new paint job or has a nice shiny coat of paint on it. Now, like I said, the rain is kind of causing the car to not be as glossy and the paint to not be as reflective. So that's why on a day like today, it's hard to do. But I really wanted to tell you about this trick. Um, another trick, if you happen to be reversing and you're reversing against a window, meaning like you're reversing into a parking spot and behind your car as you're reversing, there is a storefront with a window. Well, guess what? If you turn your head around and you look at that reflection of the window, you can probably see your car. So you'll be able to see where your tires are and where your bumper is, and you'll be able to stop on time before you hit the curb or before you hit anything else, like before you go onto the sidewalk or whatever, the walkway, whatever the case is. Now, as another tip, once again, turn on your tail lights. In most cars, if you want to turn on your tail lights, you simply turn on your, your headlights and your tail lights will activate. Now your tail lights will, in some cars, will activate even before that when you turn on just your interior lights. But if you want to be safe, turn on your headlights and your tail lights should be activated too. And that's basically it. That is a simple driving trick for reversing without sensors. I've actually given you two tricks. The first trick, Use the reflection of the car that you're parking beside to see where your rear bumper is and where your rear tires are and use that to know when to stop. And the second bonus trick is use a storefront window that you're reversing towards to see what's happening with the rear of your car. And as an added bonus tip, Turn on your tail lights to make it easier to see the reflection. And that's basically it. I really hope that you've enjoyed this little try, this little driving trick video. If you use this trick, I would like you to let me know down below as a comment. And that's basically it. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.